This is an analysis of Miss Schultz freestyle. All right, the first thing we'd like to see her do is really make sure that when she gets that go, she explodes forward off the blocks. We don't want her to engage her arms and then move forward. We see maybe that we kick perhaps a little bit too far underwater. We'd like to see her transition into a freestyle kick right around here and then break out with freestyle. She loses too much momentum off the start before she breaks out. Also, we don't want to breathe on that second stroke, and coming up a little bit sooner will allow us to get through the first few strokes without having to take a breath. We want to make sure we maintain that top speed off the blocks, and we can do so by taking less breaths. As we can see, we want to make sure that we have a good elbow bend with that left hand. Our right arm bends pretty well, but our left arm is swinging a bit, and we'd like to make sure we really sharpen up the recovery of that left arm so that we are getting both arms over equally fast. Do a great job of pushing off flat on our back and then kicking our way over onto our stomach. But we don't want to see a breath on the first stroke off the wall, just like we don't want to see a breath on that second stroke off of the start. We want to carry as much speed off of the wall as possible, and taking a breath really slams on the brakes. We have great kick, great body position, and good head position. We can maybe drop that chin down just a little bit and make sure that we're looking at the bottom of the pool. This is underwater analysis of Miss Schultz's freestyle. So as we can see, we're a little bit deep on the entry of the start here, and as a result, we have to spend a lot of time kicking our way back to the surface. So what we can do instead is we can try to make sure that we banana back up to the surface th uh, this way. So we want to make sure that we bend our body in this direction instead of keeping our our uh, head position and arms pointed down and that'll help us get back to the surface of the water much faster. So we have very good kick and body position, nice body roll. One thing we want to make sure we're really thinking about is not allowing our elbow to drop below our hand on the underwater recovery of the freestyle. So what we see right here is that the elbow begins to drop a little bit and as a result we're really only pulling with this part of our arm. So we want to make sure that we use the full part of our arm to pull and how we can do that is by making sure that our arm is more like this and like we're swimming over a barrel and that's going to allow us to have more power in our stroke, stay higher in the water and really make sure that we um, maintain maximum efficiency in our stroke. So we see an excellent job of pushing off almost flat on our back here, kicking over onto our stomach. This is a textbook turn. Very well done. Excellent breakout, but we don't want to breathe on that first stroke. All that speed that we had off the wall, we, we lose by taking a breath on that first stroke. Good body position, nice and high on the water, excellent kick. Nice job.